One day after the centre wrapped the Andhra Waf Boat stand, now we are understanding the Jamaat has in fact bagged the Kafir stand. They have cited opinion of the Uma, which means stand against the Ahmadiyas. Let me give you a better context of what's really happened in the last 24 to 48 hours. The central government, you will remember, had intervened on behalf of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community and had asked the Andhra Pradesh government to look into the complaint that had been made by the sect against the state's buff board recent resolution calling its members kafirs or non-believers and non-Muslims. In a letter to the Andhra Pradesh Chief Secretary K.S. Jawar Reddy, the Minister of Minority Affairs had said the WAF Board's resolution against the Ahmadiyya community is a hate campaign which could have ramifications across the country. Now we are understanding the Jamaat in fact has bagged the non-Muslim, non-believer Kafir stand. Let's also now bring in our colleague Swastika in fact is now joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Swastika, help us understand the reason why the stand has been bagged and any political reactions coming in so far. Well, to give you a brief political context, uh, remember the central government pulled up the state government of Andhra Pradesh uh, over the Waf Sports Fatwa against the Ahmadiyya Muslims. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community had written to the Minority Affairs Ministry requesting them for protection and requesting them for the removal of fatwa that was issued by the Waf Board, which issued an order in the name of the state government of Andhra Pradesh. The fatwa established or the fatwa instructed uh, them uh, and the rest of the Muslim communities, A, to boycott the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, tried contacting him, but uh, there's been no response. But sources within the Andhra Pradesh government say that they're going to take a neutral view on the issue and not hurt any uh, community and let alone ensure uh, uh, that there shouldn't be any social ostracization against one community. Now, in that uh, same tone, now you have the jamaat e ulema Hind uh, coming out in support of the WAF board, essentially reiterating its stand that uh, Ahmadiyyas are not Muslims. They are uh, somebody, uh, they are a group which does not believe in the tenets of Islam, does not believe in Prophet Muhammad, and that's why they should be boycotted. Uh, and the boycott that we're talking about essentially on the ground is the fact that the priests, uh, for instance, were instructed not to conduct nikahs of the Ahmadiyya community. They were socially ostracized. They were not being involved in the meetings uh, uh, regarding the issues uh, related to the Muslim community. And uh, they wrote to the ministry uh, saying that this kind of social boycott is hampering them. The central government also has taken a very strong view yeah. on the issue saying that this will have national yeah. ramifications and that this discrimination should not be tolerated in any sense. Swastika, I just want to go back as far as the intervention of the centre is concerned because the timing of when this is coming is also crucial. I'm just reading on from that letter that was in fact written. It said this constitutes a hate campaign against the Ahmadiyya community at large and the WAF board neither has the jurisdiction nor the authority to determine religious identity of any community including the Ahmadiyyas. How has the WAF board reacted so far? Ritima CNN News 18 has been reaching out to the WAF board of Andhra Pradesh uh, uh, ever since we broke the story two days ago. But the WAF board has uh, remained tight-lipped about the incident. There has been no official communication from their end. We also reached out to the state government of Andhra Pradesh where sources have told us that the government will be uh, taking a neutral view on the incident and uh, also ensure that there is no discrimination against one community, which essentially means that the central government uh, pointed, uh, pointing out the fact that this is going to have a national ramification and B, it's a hate campaign against uh, one community, something that even the state government of Andhra Pradesh endorses and it is going to take a concerted view on this. Uh, second thing is, with uh, the issue uh, n not just being particular to Andhra Pradesh alone, Radhima, this conflict between the Ahmadiyya community, their perception and the sectarian the, the differences between the Muslim community is something that has time and again come to the fore from other parts. The argument put in by, by uh, organizations like jamaat e ulema is that not just India, but across the world in Muslim-dominated countries, Ahmadiyyas are not considered to be Muslims. Uh, they are because because of the fact that they don't believe Prophet Muhammad uh, is the last prophet and the only uh, 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 sort of uh, person to refer to as far as Islam in faith is concerned. Uh, but the jamaat e ulema also now throwing in a political angle raises a lot of questions uh, and also um, uh, remains to be seen how this conflict is 
sort of uh, emerging out of not just Andhra Pradesh but rest of the state with Jamaat e Ulema now saying and throwing its weight behind the work board saying this uh, fatwa that has been issued by them is uh, logical and therefore endorsing the fact that Ahmadiyas deserve to be treated the way they are. Taking on from what you're saying, Swastika, with the Jamaat e Ulema in throwing its weight behind as far as the WAF board is concerned, backing the demand as far as the Kafir is concerned, how do you see this? playing out politically speaking as well well as far as the bjp is concerned remember with their outreach to the pasmanda muslims uh, the most backward community within the muslim community uh, it is also very clear that time and again uh, they have come out in support politically also of uh, the communities within the uh, muslim uh, uh, practitioners those who are socially ostracized that's the reason why uh, the central government's uh, reaction Uh, to the state of Andhra Pradesh and the work board in particular assumes a lot of significance. Andhra Pradesh believes uh, the state government of Andhra Pradesh, run by Jagan Mohan Reddy, claims to be a secular government. This is a government which says it stands for everyone, and that is why the state government, in uh, all likelihood, is going to uh, come out with a neutral stand on the issue. Politically, uh, the politics behind the entire Ahmadiyya. conflict is something that has been a long standing one ridima but fact factually on the ground even though they are numerically insignificant in the state of andhra pradesh with very less population uh, the kind of ostracism that they are facing in the sense that the the, the fatwa also said that priests uh, kazis should not conduct weddings within the ahmadiyya community they should not be allowed to participate in meetings there have also been increasing cases of violence against the ahmadiyya community with other members of the muslim community allegedly going into their house and beating them up all these atrocities have been spoken about at length mm. in that letter that the ahmadiyya muslim community representatives from new delhi have written to the ministry of minority affairs and it also is of significance and raises question on how can waf board of a state government which is just it is not a constitutional body exactly. it is a body that yeah. has been set up to monitor internal uh, issue, issues and uh, other minor issues within communities have the authority to issue a fatwa mm. that to in the name of the state of government of Andhra Pradesh so the Andhra Pradesh government too has to clarify on the stand or it stand on the issue and swastika i just want to quickly talk about as far as the legal uh, you know aspect of this entire story is also concerned because if you go back to 2012 you had the andhra pradesh waf board that that time had in fact passed a resolution declaring the subsect of sunni muslims the ahmadiyas as non muslim since then that resolution has also been challenged multiple times as far as the andhra pradesh high court is concerned with ordered its interim suspension so what is the kind of legal battle that we've seen on this line as well we are absolutely right this is not a new fatwa ridima in fact back in 2009 uh, uh, the fatwa was issued uh, against the ahmadiyya community after that in 2012 the high court had overturned it uh, put an interim order causing any kind of uh, implementation of that fatwa but despite that in february this year the fatwa was reissued de facto by the waf court of andhra pradesh and the matter was only taken up today or in the recent